Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to Healing Guys Tarot. This is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And we're going to see why this person's come back. So, what do they want? Can you trust them? What do you need to know? What are their intentions? Okay, let's start out with what do they want? Ooh, they want happiness with you. It could be a Leo. They see a lot of happiness with you. There also might be a child involved. They almost feel like this person acts like a child or they may be younger than you. But it feels like they have a very happy-go-lucky feel to them. Okay. And what are their intentions? Ooh. They haven't decided. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll clarify these. Don't know there. There's a choice. I don't know. Maybe they want you to make a decision. So choose them. Okay. Can you trust them? Judgment. Yeah. You're going to have to make your own judgment on that. It can be different for everyone. But they do want to come back around. Almost feels like they want you to, to um, judge them. They might have changed. And they want you to see this. It's like they want to tell you something. They want to tell you something that happened. Something how they change or something like that. Okay, can a relationship with them be beneficial? Ah, it's a burden. <laughs> maybe if you put an end to the burden, maybe things will be okay. Let's see. Well, like I said, when we clarify, we'll find out more. Um, what do you need to know? Hmm, they want long-term commitment. Also, could be a Taurus here. But I think they have serious, um, serious desires here. Okay. And the advice for you guys is, hmm, they're going to come in with an offer. They might even bring a gift. So weigh their offer. Just, you know, don't be too serious about it. And don't, you know, they might be younger than you. Not as mature. Okay, what's the potential outcome here? Dude, yeah, you might work on this together. This might work out if you put the time in, if you both put the time in. And if someone's moving away from something, could come to something better. And then they could be actually moving to come towards you. It might be they have to travel a distance to see you, or it could be that they're actually moving their place of residence to come towards you. May they're um, just, you know, they're moving closer. Or maybe they want you to go on a vacation with them. Go on a trip. Okay. Now let's clarify. Why do we have the sun here? Well, what do they want? Ooh, they want justice. I like that. They want to bring balance and justice into this relationship. They want to try to fix this libra energy you make them very happy There's a lot of gold here a lot of sun you got the sun even in here and there's very a lot of gold here they feel that you enrich their life you make them very happy they feel i also feel very flowing energy with the sun here with them so they feel like you're destined to be too you got two major arcanas you don't have a the minor here okay what are their intentions now? Why do we get this two of swords? Very curious about that. Version. Let's see. King of Wands. Hmm. This person is very creative. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But they have a lot of passion for you. Hmm. I think they figure you might have someone else. They want you to pick them. That's what I'm feeling there. Almost like this, like, weigh, the, weigh out your choices. And they think they're the better choice. Okay, can you trust them? We got the judgment card. This was very interesting. Okay. Hmm, temperance. If you weigh things out, you balance things out, you can trust them, I think. Um, but you'll have to see. You'll have to make up your own mind here. Come to your own conclusion. You know, talk to them. See how you feel about it? Sagittarius energy? Could be. Um, can a relationship with them be beneficial? Well, we did get the Ten of Wands here. Let's see. Whew. 
if you move away from something, I guess, or if they move away from something, there's a burden that has to be moved away from. So if it can be beneficial if someone leaves whatever this burden is behind. This they might be they might have baggage and they have to leave that behind. Take the swords out of the boat or something here. And then I think it'd be okay if someone leaves the burdens behind, not take them with them. If there's people around them that are not good, they got to leave them behind. They can't bring them into this relationship. They can't have them um, jeopardizing relationship. That could have broke up the relationship before. Okay, what do you need to know when you have this hierophant? This person could also be very religious now or very spiritual. Maybe you didn't know that or maybe they weren't before. Okay, or be very structured, organized. Let's see, why do we have the hierophant here? What do they need to know? Ooh, okay, so we have, this person might have been like reborn or there's a death and new beginning, new birth to this person. This person is very spiritual now, I think. I don't think they were before. And now they might have seen the light and now they, they're more spiritual. Scorpio energy, we have Taurus and Scorpio here. Okay, advice, you got the page of pentacles. Why is the Page of Pentacles here for advice? Wow. This person did a lot of soul searching. I think a lot of... Um, yeah, they, they worried about this Three of Swords maybe breaking your heart or hurting you. And they and now they're looking to come in and offer you a gift, offer you a solution, offer you a new, new opportunity with them. That, that sounds really weird, but they, they want to offer you something here. They want to make an offer. Okay. Potential outcome. We have this Eight of Pentacles. Let's see. Ooh. Hmm. So there's working on maybe healing this pain that if you get together with the person, maybe you could both um, heal from this heartache, whatever happened between you. Because weird. I really was telling. Ooh, if I could speak, I was really picking up on that Three of Swords in this card, and then it comes out. Okay, the bottom deck, we have the King of Swords. So this person could be very intelligent, or this is your energy, um, and very, I guess, I'm getting like a stern, a stern attitude. And also, you know, the truth, there has to be truth here. And whether or not that you to use the sword, I think this is your energy. Whether or not you use the sword to cut them out, if it doesn't seem right for you, if it's not the right fit, you're not going to go for it. Okay. So let's see what else we have for you guys. Okay. What else, please? King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the Devil, and then the Capricorn. And then we have the Hermit, Virgo. So a lot of Earth signs here. Yeah, I really feel like this person is, it has changed from this Devil, from this Capricorn, from this maybe being narcissistic or controlling or some kind of personality into the Hermit. And they're now financially stable, reliable. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn there. Could also be, you, I could, like here, the Virgo is your sign, but I'm feeling like this person has transferred, trans, um, transcended into this more of a hermit. I almost feel like, yeah, it feels like, some, it's not for everyone, but I really feel like someone has changed. That there is an ending. Something happened in their life. Something that they woke up. And they're not in this energy anymore. I think because I do feel like they want to talk to you about something. That they want to explain something to you. That they're not the same person. They want to make things up to you. You're the star. Aquarius energy. A connection. A spiritual connection. Oh, we got the Scorpio again. The um, death and rebirth. They want to bring this back. They fear they're a different person. That there, there could be a whole different energy here. They want to work on healing this. Yeah, look at that. Knight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Very strong earth here. This person feels very grounded too. I don't think they did before. They felt a little flighty. They felt um not dependable. Maybe erratic. Maybe 
narcissistic I keep on getting uh, it's not gonna be for everyone but it might be only for a couple they want this two of cups this queen of cups they see you as a queen of cups very loving nurturing caring and they also see that there's a lot of memories here and they see a past life connection with you I think they're I almost feel like this person really had an awakening they went through the dark night of assault, I think, and they had an awakening, and now they're a totally different person. Five of Swords, the world, and Page of Pentacles. And we have the Queen of Wands. See, I think they have, they see you as being very sexy, very desirable. They want to come, they figure a match that way. And also, um, do we have another match? I'm not sure if we have a queen of pentacles or not. But this person is trying to, um, they're not listening to people anymore. I don't think they're changing. They're, the world is an ending for something new to begin. And I think they're they're blocking these, this person out. This person can scream all they want over here. Try to um, tell them not to do something or not to be involved with you or whatever they're trying to do there. And this person not listening. They're just giving them a headache and they're like, I don't need this. I don't need you in my head here. So they are going to come in with an offer here. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, we have the Page of Pentacles here too. I thought so. So yeah, there's, so they're definitely coming in with an offer. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I forgot what I had here. Okay. So they're coming in with this offer. Maybe even a gift. To, they want to talk to you. All right. But they do see you as very desirable. Very sexy. They're, yeah, they're very smitten by you. It's like they're, you bring them a lot of happiness. They have a lot of fun with you too. I feel like you're probably the most fun they ever had with someone they could feel like they could also could let their hair down they don't have to um put on any ears they're just themselves but now they're going to show you a whole different self because the person that i'm really feeling strongest here is this person has changed okay let's see what science we're dealing with for you guys cancer Sagittarius, Aquarius, Gemini, Gemini, and Taurus. Okay, so these are the signs you could be dealing with. This could be some placements in their chart, your chart. This also could be that they seem like their energy is more like one of these other signs than actually their, their true um, sun sign. And, um, also, it could be other people that are involved around you, their energies that you're feeling at this time. They could be appearing here too. So um, if you like this new spread, please give me a thumbs up. And I appreciate all your comments, all your likes, your shares, your subscribes. And I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you so much.